What is up guys, Bruce Lear here, back at you again with another toy review. This time we are doing, boom, Henry Cavill himself, Superman from Justice League 2021. I got this at GameStop. On the side here, DC Multiverse, Superman, Nick Farlin on the back here. Each figure comes with a collectible trading card. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Superman, Justice League, nice product shot right here of Superman. And of course, these are the other guys from the Wave. We got Flash, Cyborg, Batman, and Aquaman. And on the side, it says Superman Justice League, JL 2021. Not much more on the top and everything else. So, let's go ahead. We'll get this guy opened up. Let's see what he's all about. Now, first things first, I want to get accessories out of the way. So, he does come with the uh, flight stand. We got this flight stand with the... Uh, Action Comics 1000 Superman from a couple years back, I think in late 2019. So this is nothing new. We've had this, and of course he does come with his uh, trading card. And here's the back, so if you guys want to read that, you guys can go ahead and pause it now. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much all he has for accessories, guys. And here we go with Henry Cavill's Superman, guys. Wow. This is a fantastic figure. Very happy that I got it. Very, very happy with the articulation. Very happy with everything that's on here. Um, the paint details and everything, it's kind of basic, but really, like, the details like it within the sculpt are fantastic. Look at that. That is so cool. These are sculpted on detail, guys. This is so cool. Let me get a close-up on the detail of everything. Here's the face. Gosh, man, that is so cool. It's kind of creepy how uh, accurate it is to Henry Cavill. It's really kind of creepy, but yeah. Anyways, let me show you the rest of the body. Right here, we have the Superman belt, of course. You have the arms right here. Flesh tones, pretty good. You know, not bad for a flesh tone. We have them right here. Here's the boots. The black boots. Bottom of the boots. Back of the head. Cape. And here's the back. Yes, the sculpt continues to go all around with the belt. And even back here with these little linings right here. This is really cool. Oh, man. This is a fantastic figure right here like I said not much pretty basic in terms of of um, of paintwork but detail wise very very good very very good detail awesome and his articulation is actually really really good I'm surprised with the articulation I do have a gripe I'm gonna get into that in a bit first off thank you McFarlane for learning Finally, it doesn't look up a whole lot, but it looks up a decent amount to where he can actually get into a decent flying pose. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Todd McFarlane, for learning. Please keep doing this with flying characters, special not even just flying characters, just characters in general. We need more stuff like this. I know it's just like on a little ball peg on the inside. But if we can get like a hinge to where he can go all the way up, you know, Marvel Legends style, that'd be sweet. Thank you, Todd McFarlane, finally. And the ab crunch, I don't like. Look at this. The ab crunch, it doesn't go forward at all. It goes back a little bit, but it's not even a decent amount of backage. It's just... Yeah, the ab crunch thingy is just there. You do, of course, get the torso swivel. You, of course, is that no waist swivel? Hold on. Oh, my goodness, no waist swivel. So you just get torso swivel. So that... I don't know how to feel about that. It's just okay, but yeah. And also, uh, he does have... His arms go in and out. They go forward, back, 360 degrees. He does have bicep swivel. That's really cool. He does, of course, have double-jointed elbows. Awesome. They can go, let's say, I think that's a little over 90 degrees. And he does, 
he does uh, rotate his arms they do go up and down the same thing on the other side and of course his legs go outward well they go outward like that they go forward don't go back do have double jointed knees go back pretty darn far no boot rotation that's kind of a bummer there is no boot rotation this is the part where I'm gonna get to where I do have a gripe is there's no boot rotation so the boots are constantly like this on both sides they're constantly shifted like to like they're constantly shifted from where the the knees are supposed to be so that's kind of frustrating but not really a big deal also this is the biggest part that I have a gripe with already I got them out the packaging these uh, joints right here they're already super super loose so I can already tell it might be a bummer for this guy to stand so, but they do go up they do go down he does of course have ankle pivot very good ankle pivot and hey, toe articulation here we go <laughs> this one's stiff so yeah but yeah that's kind of a bummer cuz see hold on let me see if I can get him you see what I'm saying guys it's already loose it's already a bit wobbling it's already a bit wobbling and weaving so yeah no no you stay Superman but yeah that's pretty much all for his articulation that's my biggest complaint with this figure is again no boot cut diaphragm joint kind of stinks and these ankle joints are way too loose I've never I haven't had this problem until now so yeah anyways guys yeah let's uh, go ahead and get him into some comparisons really quick Ugh. give me a sec and here is almost all of my Superman collection guys you can see I got the Mattel Kingdom Come Superman on the right side I have the Rebirth Superman on the left side both of these are from Mattel love both of these figures very good figures definitely if you find them cheap by chance on Amazon or on Mercari or wherever pick them up don't do not sleep on that and of course here is the Action Comics 1000 Superman that we got a couple years back in I think fall of 2019 that was when uh, the rights were handed from Mattel over to McFarlane so yeah and it's I'm really happy that it's not just a straight up repaint of this figure as far as I can tell it's two totally different sculpts everything is different everything is brand new with this figure the head sculpt is definitely a lot different and I think he stands like just a little bit taller than that Superman right there so that's really cool but yeah I just wanted to compare him to a couple other Supermans that I have and here he is next to the DC Essential Superman this is my favorite Superman guys this has been a favorite of mine for years ever since it first came out I love this Superman and yeah he stands taller over the DC Essential Superman and that's really really cool I just wanted to do a quick comparison to these guys because I think both of these are very cool Supermans this is still my favorite but yeah just wanted to compare these two and I wanted to compare him real quick to one of his old nemesis uh, nemesis or whatever, however you say it anywho it's Bizarro from McFarlane I oh my god goodness I love this figure I loved it when I first got it I loved it when it first came out fantastic figure and yeah Henry Cavill was pretty tall man I gotta say they made this figure pretty darn tall and I'm really happy with the sculpt and everything and I'm really happy with the size differences and here he is next to the Justice League cyborg figure wow pretty good scaling I think they were about the same height in the movie. I could be wrong. I'm not too sure, but they're about the same height. Like, let me tilt up Cyborg's head a little bit. Okay, so Superman is just a hair taller. Just a hair. Not by much, but yeah. I think that's accurate. I gotta go back and rewatch the film. I could be wrong, but that seems pretty accurate to me. So yeah. Here's my man Cyborg. Alright, this is the last size comparison, guys. I'm sorry. I'm having too much fun comparing this figure. We have the Detective Comics 1000 Batman, and we have the DC Rebirth Flash. Both made by McFarlane. Pretty good scaling. I like the size differences. I like what we got right now. I like the fact that we have, you know, the comic and live action figures. This is pretty darn cool. Very, very happy with the scaling. And, uh, yeah... 
he's still pretty darn tall. But <laughs> so yeah, guys, uh, let me know what do you guys think? Do you like the scaling of this figure? Does it bother you? Is this something that you do want to pick up or you don't want to pick up? I don't know. I found this guy at GameStop. You know, normally these things run for about twenty to twenty-four dollars. GameStop likes to jack up the prices sometimes. This was actually at retail price. This was you know nineteen ninety-nine plus tax. You know, over here in Texas. So yeah, and I know that a lot of you guys may be saying, "Well, Bruce, why don't you go and pick up the rest of the figures on Amazon?" I like to buy figures online, but I'm mostly in the wild. I like to hunt toys in the wild. I like to take my chances. I like to see what I can get. Heck, just today I found John Moxley and uh, Hangman Page uh, when I was at Walmart. Literally, they were both on the same shelves from AEW, and I had to go get it. And I was like, "Yes, I'm an in the wild kind of guy. I love to hunt hunt toys in the wild and see what I can get and take my chances." So yeah, I guess you could say I'm a bit of a gambler when it comes to that. But yeah, anyways, guys, that is my tour review. Um, I believe he's up at Big Bad Toy Store. I'm not too sure. He's definitely up at Amazon and other places like that. So check him out. You know, if you're interested, go by all means, go get this figure. Check your GameStops. Check wherever you got to go. And yeah. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. And remember, grow older, grow wiser. Don't be afraid to be who you are. Never stop being who you are. Get right and grow closer to God and never... Stop being a geek. God bless you guys. Thanks for checking out my channel. Thanks for checking out my tour review. And yeah, Bruce Lear signing out.